Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Metabox tutorial for beginners and this is part 7. In this video session guys, we will discuss some online tools where we can generate our WordPress Metabox code. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WordPress Metabox tutorial to get the clear vision about the customization of WordPress Metabox. And now for the previous code guys, you can download all code from this GitHub repository. Okay, so far we did several types of customization in this video session where we made our own custom Metabox for our post type, post, page as well as custom post type. And also we have made our meta boxes for our dashboard screens as well as we have removed the meta box default meta box of WordPress from screens of our pages we have seen so far in this video session. So basically what we are going to do in this video session basically if you go to browser and now this is the dashboard section actually we have where we have made our own custom meta box okay. So if I click on book this is a custom post type that we have registered in our previous video session clicking on add new and now these are the meta boxes guys that we have registered called OWT author meta box OWT book meta box okay so now what actually we will do we will create this meta box no not actually doing code okay for these meta boxes we did several types of coding several code as you can see these are the code by the help of those codes actually we have made that meta boxes okay but now we are going to generate this code on by using online tools okay so how can we generate that so just go to google and type online wp meta box generator or anything you want like online meta box generator okay you will get several links by clicking on any of the link you can generate your own code okay so first I am going to use called WordPress Metabox generator this is the link you actually got right here okay this is the link and now this is the another link called WP this is the link right here so basically guys we are going to use these two links to generate our Metabox online toolkit okay you can click any of the link actually we got okay so just I'm going to first site and let's just scroll back we need to fill some of the information for our meta box as we know that to create a meta box we need to pass called title called input type text box called label and several things we need to pass okay so just back to website and now let's say that we need to pass first the title section and the title section refers to this title okay so let's say that OWT online meta box okay this is the title that I have assigned and now for the description purpose if I make zoom for the description purpose this is sample meta box that we have generated by online tool okay this is the simple description that we have assigned to this meta box okay so now this meta box actually we are making for which type of post okay basically this meta box is to for post type for page section for dashboard for link for attachment okay suppose we are going to make this meta box for our custom post type that is book we are going to make this post meta box for this book custom post type okay so just back to website and let's see that just click on custom and uncheck this post type okay in this box we need to pass the book post type this is the book post type this is the post type name okay so just copy this and paste inside this box next parameter we need to assign that is context means where the position in at what position actually we want to appear this our meta box so let me assign this as a side section okay we want that meta box should be appear at the side section so just back to website click on side next parameter that is priority this is the context priority if we are attaching our meta box at the side position that at side where we want to appear something called low side upper side this is the position okay so according to our priority let's assign its high okay means our generated meta box will be appeared at the side position at the high position means at the upper part okay so just I'm going to check this is the high position just scroll down 
let's pass that what type of actually input we are going to pass inside our meta box as we go out to our dashboard just click on that and now as we can see that these are the meta boxes that we have made so far by the custom code okay and now inside this meta box we have taken as the drop down list this is the select okay and now in this meta box we have taken our input type text box okay so basically we need to pass the two things first the label name and the input type text or input type select this is the select okay so if you go to website so now what actually we want the input box or select a statement or any of the input in our custom meta box okay so let's say that basically we want a simple text box okay and label something let's say that enter name okay so this is the meta box this is the meta box input that we have assigned as a label called text and uh, enter name okay so just click on generate php by clicking on this button guys we actually we will get the code of our custom meta box okay so this is so just make copy of the, these codes go to our editor and this is the plugin that we have made for our wordpress meta box generator okay so either you can paste inside this plugin or by going to functions.php of your theme you can paste that code from there and generate your meta box okay so basically i am going to paste this code inside this file called wpowt metabox.php this is the plugin that we have made inside the whole video series of wordpress meta box tutorial okay so just paste it here so if i scroll up so this is the code that we have generated from jeremyhaxon.com website okay so just save this file go to administrator panel and refresh this page once we refresh guys we can see that owt online meta box this is the code that we have generated in the name this is the simple description and this is the input type text okay if you can fill any of the value inside this field then we can save this value regarding this book okay so this is the first link guys where actually we can use it and generate your meta box online okay so just move to next this is the another website guys by using this website we can generate our meta box by online okay so now we have to pass some of the informations again to this website what are those informations like title description text domain and it is context means context its context position that is priority and which type of post actually we are making this meta box for that so let's pass information to these text boxes okay so let's say that owt let's say sample meta box okay as you can see when we type any of the value inside this text boxes then the code automatically get updated this is the code actually generated by clicking on this input type text boxes okay and this is the code actually we are going to copy this code and paste inside this file or functions.php to make our own custom meta box by online tool okay so just back to website and let's pass let this is sample meta box code okay text bond this is an optional so we need to left blank and the context we actually we want to appear so let's say that we want to make this meta box for our post type post okay if i clicking on add new so this is the post section where we want to make our custom meta box okay so we want to appear that is the normal position something like that here okay so just back to website and let's say that this is normal okay and the position should be default okay and now the post type actually we will use to generate this meta box for something called post type post okay so just uncheck that now this is left blank because we are not making for the custom post type we are making for the post type okay and now what field actually we want to make so let's say that we want to make a text simple text so just click on text field and let's say that enter some value okay and now this is the text box that we are making to this meta box okay now clicking on generate code either if you want to make more fields then you can click on add field by clicking on this you can add more fields to your meta box okay just i'm clicking on this generate code by clicking on this this is the code that we have generated only we have to copy this code so click on this and now our code is being copied just go to editor either you can paste this code to your plugin file that we are working on or you can paste inside functions.php of your theme okay so now this is the code that we have generated if i scroll up 
so this is the code actually WP Hasty website has generated so just paste this code save this file go to browser administrator panel and now refresh this page once we refresh as we can see that this is the code had been generated called OWT sample meta box this is sample code and here we need to enter some value and this is text field okay so basically guys by the help of these links online tools we can generate our own meta box for our WordPress website but now remember guys we need to learn something from WordPress okay so basically we need to make our own custom meta boxes by doing custom code but remember if you have suppose if you have less amount of time if you have not enough time to make your project then you can use these tools to generate meta box code without wasting too much time okay so basically guys by the help of this video session we have learned that how can we generate our own custom meta boxes by online tool to means save our time to make meta boxes for our wordpress website okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day